Hello, Earth Signs, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I am so happy you're here today. First, before we start the reading, take a moment if you haven't subscribed already and go down and click that red button just under this video that says subscribe. I'm uploading new videos every day, so I don't want you to ever miss a new video for your sign. And now let's get into it. Right before this reading started, I had that Nina Simone song, Feeling Good, in my head, and especially the line, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new life on me, and I'm feeling good. Okay, I'm not Nina Simone, and I had to get through that fast, but you get the idea. It was a new day, a new dawn, a new life for you. And then I'm sitting in front, I'm doing this reading a little bit earlier than I usually do, and I'm sitting in front of my window. I've got the sun, it's about to rise over the sea here and come up behind me, so if I get really backlit, that's why. And I pulled three Star Man Tarot cards for you, and you are going to flip. The first song that, I mean, the first song, the first card that came out is The Sun. Number 19, The Sun. Here comes the sun, do 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 do, for these earth signs, and I said it's all right. Do 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 do. Okay, this is positivity. New day. The sun is one of the most brilliant cards in the whole deck. This is your new day to shine, earth signs. I know it's in your nature to stay grounded and stay like, oh, I've got all my numbers here, but let yourself shine. Let the sun shine. Let the sun shine. And these are all messages for you. Okay, clearly I'm not a choreographer, but you know what I mean. Then the second one that came out, the wheel, the wheel of fortune. Wheel of fortune. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Late, I was singing Ladies Night. You know I meant like the wheel of fortune theme song, but it was also Ladies Night. So there you go. The wheel of fortune. You have ancestors, spirit guides, spirits, angels, archangels. The whole shebang, and they are working in your favor. They have been conspiring in your favor to uh, turn that uh, wheel. Turn the wheel. The cycle is ending. The sun is shining in. Life is a wheel. The, we the year is a wheel. Time is a wheel. Space is a wheel. Everything is a wheel. It's always cyclical. It's turning every month, day, year, everything. So every, there will be cycles where it's bright and sunny and there will be cycles where it's a little bit darker. But this is, the wheel is turning to bring in the sun for you. It is bringing in the sun. Huh. And I love that like these two cards, the sun and the, the wheel, they're both this like brilliant fiery energy. Like it's coming like a fireball for you. It's just gonna be like, whoom, like a comet. So hang on to that tail. I'm hearing hail bop too. Don't do the hail bop thing, but you know what I mean? Like hold, just grab onto the tail of that comet and let it take you for a little bit. You can lift your feet off the ground. Your earth signs, you're still gonna be grounded. It's in ya, but just let your feet come off the ground for a little bit and feel the air under your toes. Ah! Then we have the hanged man. And this is not a bad thing. <laughs> this is letting the old stuff go, letting it die off, and then letting this rebirth come in. This rebirth, let the wheel turn in your favor and let the rebirth come in. Also, you are totally powerful, especially right now, because you've got three major arcana. That's what we call these kind of like they're not the suit cards, they're the cards that are more symbols. And so you've got like a lot of power pushing you forward at this time. Just grab onto that comet tail and let it take you. And all the sunshine songs, let them all come in for you. I'm pulling a little mantra for you or a little theme card for you from Oracle of E. These are a mess. <laughs> Number 45, loud and clear. Are you getting the messages? Yes, you are. They are coming in loud and clear. This is number 45, that's a nine energy. That's also the end of a cycle. Get ready for the wheel to turn. What are you gonna do? Spin that wheel. Don't buy a vowel, spin the wheel. Let it ride, baby, let's see what happens. I'm so excited for you. Ah, wheel of fortune. I'm like, you're, oh my gosh, if this is the wheel of fortune moment for you, does that make me Vanna White? just for today, please, thank you. 
The Divine Feminine has been itching for me to start pulling cards for you from her. So let's see. Can we get three cards for these earth signs from the Divine Feminine? I've got to like breathe and come back down. I've got all this sun energy. Okay. Oh my gosh. You are not going to believe this. You know who came out for you? Joan of Arc. <laughs> like talk about strong energy. Joan of Arc. Come on, y'all. She led the French army against the English. Like a six, was she 16? I'm gonna say 16 right now, okay? Correct me if I'm wrong, I know you will. But this like 16 year old girl went up against, she led one of the biggest armies in the empire, in the world, against another huge empire. And she was just like, oh, <laughs> listen, gentlemen, I got this. I've been divinely lit up by my wheel of fortune. Just follow my flag, okay? Joan of Arc is the warrior, <gasps> warrior of light, sunshine, sunshine, let the sunshine in. She's the warrior of light. She's here with you. She is pushing you forward, not in a bad way, but just like, I'm here with you. I've got this. Come on. I've got the flag. Don't worry. We got this. I have a steel like faith in myself. That's you. That's you. The angels armor me with conviction. Is this message coming through loud and clear yet? You need to stand in your power. You have the sun in you, around you, by you. You have guides who are warriors of light. There's so much light around you, protecting you, helping you. Ah, I'm so excited for you. Who else is here? Ooh, Zhu Wanjing, the mystic of peace. I am peace. When my mind is clear, the way is clear. So let all of this light come in and start burning off all of the clouds, right? You know when it's like morning fog and then the sun rises and that heat kind of burns off the fog and the condensation? Let this light come in and burn off all the fog. Anything that's not clear to you is going to become clear. It's going to become clear. And she is just all this red and yellow light, fertility. New things are being born. You're birthing new things. Oh, no. Okay, and Sekhmet, the red lady. Look at these two cards. Even if you can't see them from there, red, red. There's so much red energy. And same with this, like the sun and the wheel. It's like all this fiery energy. You've got like fire. Um, Sekhmet, the red lady. I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. So don't just like punch a wall and don't just, you know, be like typing away madly on the internet. Ugh. Give voice to it. When you're feeling angry, instead of letting it boil up inside of you, speak truth to your anger. Hey, I'm angry right now. Hey, I'm feeling really pissed off. This feels unfair. And then take it one step further. Let these guides guide you, make it clear for you. Okay, why am I so angry? Is it actually because Debbie took too much toilet paper? Or is it because I'm afraid of lack? Because I'm afraid of not having enough. And where does that come from? See what I'm saying? Like Sekhmet is coming to like lead you down the path to be like, speak truth to your anger, but then like uncover it layer by layer when it feels safe to do it. Like a banana, I was gonna say an onion, but apparently I'm appealing a banana that's super skinny. But you know what I'm saying? Like, take, take the emotion, that, that strong, fiery emotion of anger, and speak truth to it. What are you really angry about in the three dimensions? And then what is that actually saying to you about where you're at? I'm angry that my neighbor won't mow his lawn. I'm angry that people are going to think that I don't know how to take care of myself. I wasn't taken care of well enough as a child. See what I'm saying? Like kind of do word association. I'm not saying, I'm not like blame everything on your childhood, but you uncover truths. There's some truths that are in your anger that need to be uncovered. They're coming for you. Oh, you are put wisdom of the Oracle. Number 48 poised. Her arms are outstretched. 16 miles to the promised land, baby with arms outstretched. She's just like head back in ecstasy, ecstasy. Uh, and her, her, her legs are almost like in a, a bow or a curtsy, like a thank you very much. I'm going to exit stage right. Like you're the star. 
You're poised for this beautiful new energy to come in. So allow it to. You're blessed. You're poised. You're blessed. And you're... You're breaking up the chaos and conflict. Also, I want to note you had a 22 and a 33 come out. Go Google those. Those are double angel numbers. See what what messages come through for you. I always say this about the angel numbers. They mean many different things. But I, I trust that when you Google them, that the message that lights up for you where you're like, oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. That's the message from these cards for you for, with the angel numbers. 22, 33. It's also a progression. You're moving forward. But this chaos and conflict... You've been taught to accept that you're something you're not. You've always known that underneath your stripes, you were actually a giraffe. This is the image in the card. (laughs) But that you were not supposed to be a zebra looking like everyone else around you. You actually, under the stripes, were a giraffe. You were a totally different species. You were a totally different animal altogether. You don't even fit into the proportions of a zebra. But now, through this chaos and conflict, you're using it as a tool to allow yourself to piece by piece peel the banana. But piece by piece, let the old paint chips fleck off and start embodying your giraffe nature. Stretch your neck, stretch your arms, you're poised to do it. But this wheel of fortune moment and this sun shining in is coming through to allow you to have the space and the breathing room to be who you were meant to be. That is so beautiful. I am so, so excited for you. Mm. Earth signs, I love you with all my heart. This is a general reading, so if you'd like a personal private reading, the information's down below. Again, don't forget to click the red button to subscribe. And I will see you next time. I can't wait to hear how this sunshine wheel of fortune moment is playing out for you. This is great. This is positive. Let the sunshine in. I love you so much. Bye, Earth Signs.